is a no frills interview of one of the founders of ADP Precision that's based in Newcastle. You started this company 25 years ago, didn't you, Peter? We did, yes. We started on the April Fool's Day 1999, so 25 years we're celebrating this year. And look at you today. I know, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. Do you love it? We do. We've, we've progressed. To, you know, we've had some hard times, some good times. But um, it's great that we're progressing further. OK, we're going to take you on a little bit of a tour of this machine shop. But before we do, what is it that you're making here? What are you producing? What's your USP? Um, being a subcontract precision engineering company, we'll produce anything. We'll, we'll want any work we can get. Um, you give us a drone and we'll, tr we'll machine it. So anything, medical, oil and gas, anything we can get. Is medical your main sector it then? It is, yeah, it would be. Yeah, we'd like to get it to medical EV, anything we can get. Right, let's have a look around your shop then. So, how many machines have you got here? I think we have about 26 machines. 26 20, machines? Yeah, 26 uh, CNCs as you go around. And what are they capable of? What's the variety? We, ha we have uh, lifts to machining centres, to um, we have uh, three plus twos, uh, axes. So, there's a wide range of uh, work we can produce. What do you enjoy about it? Because, you know, it's a lifestyle, isn't it, to run a, a shop like this? Do you ever work on the machines? I did, the one yeah. time. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, I was a turner by trade. And um, I, I enjoyed that, and I used to run CNC machines. I forgot most of it now, mate, but <laughs> never mind. But um, we, we, our lads are well trained, and we're, you know, we're trying to teach them as much as we can. We've got the experience and we try to pass that on to our workforce. Now, I know that this is one of your latest purchases. It is. We've just uh, purchased this in the last six months. Uh, DNMG Mori have been a uh, fantastic uh, provider of the latest machines that we use now. Um, you've got some staff members that have been here since day one. How are you holding on to that? Because we'll fully admit, you know, we hear a lot about people struggling to find highly skilled yeah. machinists. Yeah, that's true. That is true. We've been lucky. We're, all, we're usually taking apprentices on, but we'll find that since we've started, we're, we're doing loose workers. We'll look after them. Why? We'll what is it them, you're doing? I think we'll give them good training, a uh, good, good working environment, and we'll try to look after them. I think it's important to look after your workforce, and uh, I think they give back to us as well. Off camera, you said you like to give them a bit of creative license. That's right. Almost like not micromanage these your team members. What does that do for you? It's fantastic. We, you know, we, we all work as a team. You know, I might be doing quotations, or but I can come out and say, "What do you think? How long do you think this could take?" And we all work as a team, and and we're involved. We're involved with workers. We, you know, we can. It's, do it it's together. There, it's there for us. You know, we'll. All work as a team, so it's fantastic. What's been your darkest moment running a machine shop? Um, well, there has been tough times, you know. Yeah. Sometimes the work might not come in, and you, you wor you're worried. We've had a few recessions, recessions over the 25 years. We've had COVID, yeah. although COVID was a fantastic year for us. Yeah. With a lot of the medical work that we did was fantastic. But even since COVID, the couple of years after COVID, it slowed and. But I think we've just got to like keep, tr you know, make sure we've got good machines, you know, invest in the future, and that's what we're, we're trying to do. Uh, with DMG Mori, we've been able to do that. We'll get the right machine. You've got a higher percentage of DMG Mori machines around your shop. So, when did that partnership start? It started um, a good 10, 12 years ago when we bought a, um, the NLX slave. And that NLX lathe, we just thought, wow, what a lovely, lovely machine. And um, the work it was producing was um, very accurate. And, and we thought, wow, why don't we buy a machining centre? So we, we decided to buy a CMX 50U. So you're telling me that your turning centre from DMG Mori forced you in to then go into them as a brand with your milling machines? It did, yes, it did, yeah. Why? just because of the, the quality of the machine. And then we thought, you know, this is gonna influence me for the future. So we thought we'd buy those machines. Off camera, we were talking something similar to this and I was kind of relating it to a car. Like most cars can get you from A to B, but you always remember the, the luxury car that you had or the car that you loved the experience of the most. And you stood upstairs and you were like, 
that's it. That's what I get from these machines is they just provide what you need and then some. That's right. That's exactly right. These are the, the quality of the, the, the build, the DMG Mori is far superior to what we had when we first started. The great machines we had when we started, they, they got where we were, but that extra, that little bit of quality does make Goes the difference. Way. It does go a long way, yeah. What's your best moment of doing what you do? Obviously, we talked a little bit about the lows, the recessions, the hard times, but also what's the, what, what do you get from being in this industry and running a shop like this? I think the satisfaction is when you produce a really top quality component. And I even had a customer come on today, would you believe it? But, um, and it, it's not very often you get a customer ring you, but I had a customer ring me today and, and said, the components you produced, the, 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 the finish was fantastic because they're going to use them on a stand. And, the, and it was lovely to get praise from a customer. And I think that's what gives you satisfaction when you, it's not very often you do come on, but when the, <laughs> when the customer comes on and says, oh, wow, I was proud of that component you produced. And uh, I think that just gives you a buzz. Yeah. And I think that's what we, that's what we want. We want quality. Well, that's what we stand for, EADP Precision. It's always dependable and precise. That's what we want that's to get out. That's your name, isn't that's it? The, our, that's our name. That's what we want to get out. That's what we want to give to our customers. Absolutely. And my last question, I guess, is to you. Is anyone who's thinking about getting into this industry or running a machine shop, what would you say to them? Because you're, you're on the same level as so many people across the UK. So what would you say, almost sell the industry to them? I would the real sell? Yeah, the re I would say... Like, it's took us 25 years, but we've always been sensible. We, we haven't went out and bought, you know, got a 50 million loan and bought machines. We've just did it, pro, you know, we've been careful. We've watched while we're spending money, and then we've decided, oh, yes, we're gonna, let's, can we afford it? And then we bought the next machine, the next machine. I think you've got to be careful, not to, just to rush into things and buy machines. Get the right machine, you know, make sure you're buying the right machine. But um, be careful, I think, and just... Take your time. Take your time. Slow growth. Yeah, slow growth. Uh, that's, you know, uh, some people can rapidly grow, but we've just been a slow, you know, a slow burn, I think. Slow but successful. Yeah, that's right. That's what we want. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.